Hi everybody, this is Noelle from Petites and we're talking about houseplant lighting today. Um, there are actually four different types of, I should say general types of houseplant lighting. So you'll be successful in picking out the correct houseplant for your home or office or wherever you like to have them. Uh, the first type of lighting that we encounter inside a home or an office is full sun, okay? This is really great for your cacti, your succulents, a lot of your tropical flowering house plants, things like citrus, hibiscus, tropical hibiscus, mandevilla, gardenia, those types of plants, okay? And that is direct sunlight four or more hours coming through an eastern window, a southern window, or a western window. So you know you're going to get direct sunlight through those types of windows, especially when they're unobstructed, when you don't have any curtains to filter the light or anything like that. So that is a full sun condition. And then we move into what we talk about a little bit more with houseplants is indirect lighting, okay? So your first condition here is bright indirect lighting. And bright indirect lighting comes from a northern exposure, okay? So this window is northern exposure. You don't get direct sunlight through this window. It always kind of wraps its way around the home or the office, okay? So this is considered bright indirect lighting. And this is great for many flowering plants, many common flowering plants, things like orchids, anthurium that we have here, or flamingo flower is another name for it but also brightly colored foliage plants. So I have this lemon lime dracaena here, and it, it has this beautiful chartreuse lemon color. But you would see if you move the dracaena into a lower light level, kind of a fading in the color. And dracaena, the dracaena family can go from bright and direct light all the way to low light. So you can move this plant throughout, but I'd probably suggest a darker color, a greener variety, if you were going to move it into lower light levels. I also have this great monstera here. The monstera is really versatile. We usually clump the monstera in the philodendron family. Philodendrons can move in a lot of different light ranges, again, bright and direct all the way down to low. So nice plant to kind of move around your, your space. Now, moving away from the bright indirect lighting, okay? And I should say, if you have a filtered window, east, west, or southern, that would be bright indirect lighting, okay? Or even a dirty window, believe it or not. Now, moving about five foot away from our bright indirect exposure, we're kind of in the middle of the room. And this is a place where you see medium indirect lighting. So right now I have some beautiful Chinese evergreens or aglaonemia, and I also have a stromanthe down here. These plants are medium to low light plants. Usually when there's more variegation and color to the foliage, that's where they need a little bit more lighting. So again, you might see if you put these in too much low light, they may fade in color. So I think a medium bright indirect lighting is really, really good. And it's really good for most house plants. I should also mention that medium indirect lighting is like 12 to 14 hours of artificial lighting, like fluorescent lighting. So if you do uh, wanna bring your plants into an office setting and the lights are on for about 12 hours, that's great, no problem. That's gonna be kind of like a medium indirect lighting exposure, okay? So now we've moved into a low light condition. We're in a corner of a room. Again, now we're about eight to 10 feet away from that northern exposure. And low light conditions, um, you'll know when you have them because it's usually rooms with no windows, like hallways, maybe an interior bathroom. Um, so just enough light to read by is what we talk about low light conditions. Um, we have got a lot of windows around us here, but a lot of them are frosted and things. So we're kind of in that low light area. 
most of your plant material that does well in low light settings are going to be more on the greener side. There's not going to be a lot of coloration to them. So things like Neanth Bell Palm or Parlor Palm, these are very nice to have in a low light setting. Some of, this is a Calathea, and this Calathea has a very, um, if you will, it's not as colorful as some of the other Calathea. It's just green and white striped. I think this is Vitara. Um, this one would be nice in a lower light setting. And then I have this lovely, lovely split leaf um, Monstera philodendron here. This is called Ginny. And so again, being in that family, they can really take a lot of different light levels. Just above my head here is a fern. And again, in uh, lower light settings to medium settings, they do really, really well. So all plants with more greener foliage are going to do great in low light. So remember, full sun, four or more hours of direct sunlight through an eastern, western, or southern window. Uh, bright indirect light is going to be that northern exposure or maybe a filtered sunny window. Medium indirect is going to be in the middle of a room, about five foot away from that northern exposure window or 12 to 14 hours of fluorescent lighting. And then of course your low light conditions, just enough to sort of read by a little bit darker areas. But again, your low light plants are gonna be a little bit on the greener side. Enjoy.